Let's talk about automatic imaging with this microscope. So you can have automated XY stage. Right now I'm using a manual XY stage, which is four inch, but also we offer automated uh, four inch XY stage. So it travels 100 millimeter over X or Y, uh, horizontal or vertical direction. On top of that, we offer a great 3D profiler with this microscope. It comes with uh, amazing resolution of 0 0.01 micron or 10 nanometer, which has a great stroke of 30 millimeter. And the repeatability with this one uh, is 0.5 micron, meaning that if you travel from the lowest Z position to the highest and come back to the same position, so you have traveled 60 millimeter, then you lose 0.5 micron over 60,000 micron. Um, this um, Z profiler or 3D profiler has a maximum speed of 1.4 millimeter per second and the loading capacity is 15 kg. So we use uh, this uh, box here to control the microscope and also we have this remote control uh, pad there are a couple of uh, bottoms uh, in, in this pad. On the left side, you see this knob, basically, it allows you to manually to speed up or uh, to move up or down the Z pro, uh, the 3D, uh, sorry, in a Z uh, direction. If you push on this bottom, and you will see here the indicator of the speed, um, and that changes from 1, 2, 3, and right now 4. And also you can use the, these bottoms to move up or down manually. As you see right now, I'm the fastest speed. It goes very fast to up. And as I said, it was 1.4 millimeter or 1400 micron per second. And if I use uh, speed 1, uh, you will see very low movement. And if I go to the second, you hear the voice. Third one is this one. And here are uh, three bottoms origin. So you can say this is the origin and it will remember that uh, origin. You can reset it so everything it will be zero. The B uh, here is the bottom limit so you can uh, define the limit of uh, bottom and it uh, and it won't go lower than that and here is also another cool uh, feature so while you see the microscope I'm using this uh, let's move to uh, transmitted light uh, I'm going to give you a little bit light over here you can see it what happens here is you can change the light from here on the pad as well. So while you're working in the computer and you, you need it to adjust uh, uh, light intensity, you can use this pad again. And another cool thing here is uh, if you push on this one, you would be able to switch between reflected and transmitted light. Since I put that in the idle mode, so basically the light uh, stays on the uh, previously saved <coughs> level. Uh, for the speed here, uh, since we are in uh, different, uh, so we reset that, let me show you what happens is basically if I go to the lowest speed right now and I can, and I use this knob to move this and as you see it is 0, 0, 0, 0.01 which is just uh, 0 0.01 micron or 10 nanometer and I can go to the 20, 20 micron, uh, 0 0.02 uh, micron or 20 nanometer up. And if I speed up to the second one, basically this goes 10 times faster. As you see, it was, if I reset this and I move this, it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. And again, if you reset this and move to third level, then this time is 50 times faster And if you go to the number four and reset that, which is 100 times faster. So you can move this and you have noticed fast movement in the Z direction. That's being said about this uh, 3D profiler. 
uh, uh, please check the next video of the Panacea software, how we control this uh, 3D profiler. So once again here, we can control the microscope in three methods. One is manual, second is software, and third is through this remote control.